Hello, and welcome to my office, actually, which is an extension of my workshop. Today's video, we're going to be making these two little covers for the CNC lathe. The covers go over the limit switches to stop Swarf going inside. So them. I will be using screen capture for Fusion 360 and I will also be using Flash Cloud for my Flash Forge 3D printer. My particular model is the Adventurer 3 and I do recommend that model to anybody who's in the market for a 3D printer. And it's very true what they say, you get what you pay for. If you're going to spend $200 for a 3D printer, you're not going to get much. <laughs> They'll work for a while. But um, you know, I, I record an enclosed uh, unit and living in Australia with the, you know, it gets pretty warm here. And um, this one seems to cope with the heat very well. Uh, because it's enclosed, I suppose, and uh, it's a, a solid structure and it's quite a bit of metal in it as well. So that's the one I would recommend. And to all you younger viewers out there, um, I will remind you, you along to the Autodesk download pages, Fusion 360, that you see me use, is free for hobbyists. So you can download it and you can use it for free. So I hope you like the video today. So we get on. Okay, so we'll jump straight into Fusion 360, and this is the new face or screen of Fusion 360. Um, this was updated uh, last night, so this is this should be the the brand new screen that everybody sees. What I can tell at the moment is, it, I think it's um, cosmetically uh, changed some of the buttons, but. Um, I would say it's basically the same. <laughs> so we're set on design and so what I'm going to do is go into this first window which is the sketcher design. So click on that. Then we're going to choose um, I'm going to choose a plane. Now, at this stage, it really doesn't matter which plane, but I do favor this one. So what we're going to do is pick a rectangle, and I've got snap turned on, so you'll see that this little cursor snaps to the boxes, or the crosses. So we're going to left-click, draw it up, and left click again to lock that but we want to alter some of the sizes here and in our case we want this one so we want to set the dimension here so I've just right clicked on this line choose this and which gives us this measurement or dimension window I'm going to put 24 here zero enter so now that is that's fixed this uh, we need to be 50 okay so we have our box there which is 24 millimeters by 50 millimeters and we're going to now draw another box on the inside of this so we're going to start here And we want this one to be, we just want a, a two millimeter wall at the top section. So that's what we want to be left with. So we're going to say 48 millimeters. And so now we want to put a measurement here of 20. millimeters oh that didn't go here we go 20 millimeters press enter 
uh, but we've gone over to one side so we want to give this a constraint here so we left click press shift left click again and so here we want to put two millimeters and press enter which brings us right into the center or the, rather the second box right into the the center so now we're going to turn this into a 3d object and that is very simply done so what we do we notify fusion 360 that we have finished our sketch and it jumps into the 3d window so what we want to do is pick this outer shell okay so what we need to do is to select or make blue all of that and then say or go up to here so we want to extrude that and we want to pull it out this way and we want to go out and we come over here to tell it how much we want it to come out and in, our, in this case we want to come out 30 millimeters we can either put that figure in here or we can put it in here so we're going to say 30.0 that changes in that window and that window press enter and it is done and that is our base part don't forget we're just making a small um, cover for the limit switches on that CNC build or CNC lathe now to move this around on the screen this is called a view cube you just click on this and move it around wherever you want to just like that so you can have a look see what you've done and we're reasonably happy with that so I'm going to click on the right box up here where it says right and it would it will align itself in that plane so we're looking at it two-dimensionally now so now we're going to go back into sketch so we're back into the sketch window now and what we're going to do is remove one of these legs so I'm going to sketch so we can choose the rectangle again I'm going to come up here and really it, the measurement here doesn't really matter but I want to eliminate uh, a certain part of this a certain area highlight that and give it a measurement of 38 millimeters press enter and I want to give this another constraint from here and here and I want to make that 12 millimeters press enter and that'll take it right down to the the base area down here then and I'm going to extrude this box removing the material this time so we come here and say sketch finished extrude this profile I want to extrude this this way so we're just going to pull it through like that and the measurement here really doesn't matter we're just going to say uh, we're going to press the enter button and it's going to remove the material so we we've ended up with the shape that we require 
So now we just require a small hole just in here to secure it. So we're going to do that part next and we're going to select that part and select front and we're going to say we want a hole and we <laughs> I'm going to zoom in here and just catch over the hole and move it into the place that you want like so and just catch over the dimension and make it really any dimension you you wish so we're, we're going to go 2.5 2 point five millimeters enter and it's in the middle there and that should have automatically made a hole so and there it is and you can see that there's a hole through which is going to be a securing fixture for our part and that's that's going to be simply 3d printed but I want two parts and I want to print them at the same time so I'm going to show you how to do that next so now we can start our second part so what we do we go to go to our sketch again and we'll work this side I think uh, so what I'm going to do is sketch another we'll bring it quite close in because this is actual distance that it's going to be from the from the part when it's going to be made I want to give it a little bit of clearance maybe three four five millimeter something like that this is not so big that's actual size so we'll just check it check this one for size 30 millimeter that's fine enter and this one 24 that's fine so now we're going to draw another box same as before on the inside and there's a, there is the actual size of our box that we need 24 by 20 by 28 so now we've finished our sketch and we want to extrude this shape extrude and again we want to come out this way 30 millimeters We're going to press enter so then we're going to go back to our sketch that's fine and we're going to finish our sketch indicate that we want to extrude that face I like to manually turn it and pull it all the way through now it goes red that's indicating that it's removing the material I press enter and same process again we're going to if I hit front side and say I want to put a hole in to this face here so I'm just moving into place Two point five. I want. Put it in a central position, slightly down. The you see the little white. There's a little white dot appears. See that's showing me the absolute center. Well, I want it about there. It's not critical. 
but um, that's where I, I really like it. And it's a through hole. I'm going to press enter and rotate this around and you can see that's gone all the way through. So that's our two parts. So basically the CAD work is done. So now what we need to do is save this in an STL file. So we want to export this. We want to export this as an STL file. There it is there. Because that's what 3D printers understand. It's um, a triangle mesh. And we'll, we'll leave it as that. I'll actually put on your STO file. STL. 